We're at the Eurovision Song Contest in Lisbon 2018 and uh, with me now is the representative for Austria, César Samson. Hello there. Welcome back to the show, César. Thanks. Now, JP, my colleague, spoke to you earlier in the year in Munich uh, at a fan event there. Since then, you've been on the promotional tour. How's it been for you? I, I think... Um... We used the promotion tour exactly the way it's supposed to be used, as a way to connect with the other delegations, which is always part of the, the fun and magic of, of Eurovision, and also as a way of just to try out how the, the song fares in different conditions. You know, We had the London event with a couple of hundred uh, spectators, and we had uh, Israel with uh, allegedly 20,000 spectators. <laughs> yes. Slightly different. Yeah, yes. Slightly different. <laughs> yes, you've had, so you've had... Um, you know, compact venues and yes. major arenas yes. and, and outside. And also very, very varying uh, sound uh, conditions, <laughs> if I may add. <laughs> varying, uh, that's a very diplomatic way of putting it, I, I, I think. Yeah. I think you can imagine that. <laughs> yes. that's, you know. well, well, of course, outside's always difficult as well, and they had terrible weather in Israel as well. I think it was, they had rain, I think, the day before you There was a bit of rain, but I mean, I come from Austria, <laughs> take what we get. Well, yeah, well yes, you're used to that. If you're yeah. used to that. Um, how was the uh, experience for you today? Because today you had your very first rehearsal. What were your thoughts when you walked out onto that big stage here in Lisbon? On the big stage, I was thinking about two things. I mean, I was thinking about what we agreed. I would do positions. Of course, it was a very virtual plan because we've never actually, I've never actually walked those distances. So there's a lot of things that you have to figure out in the spot. How fast do you have to run? How does it affect my breathing? Uh, and then cameras, and then this and then that. So the first run was still all, all over the place. Uh, at, the third, at the third try, I felt much more comfortable. And um, when we went to the viewing room, we were quite, uh, quite comfortable. Happy, happy so with far, that it's, yeah. it's looking good. Yeah. Um, what were your actual thoughts when you walked out on the stage for the first time this afternoon? I literally am not sugarcoating anything. I felt this is my home. This is exactly this is a beautiful stage. This is memories last year and the year before. So I just felt so so relaxed and and just uh, joyfully, you know. Because of course Eurovision is not new to you because no. you've been involved before. But this is your first time as the uh, featured artist. I have to tell you, actually, I think. Uh, before Christian Kostov went on stage and I was backstage uh, supporting him uh, the back vocals I think I was a bit more excited there than I'm now you know? just, <laughs> because I was like think, feeling for him supporting him and just that kind of but now it's just I just have to be myself right and you, yeah. you're doing it for you yeah. and of course for Austria yeah. what uh, what's the backing been like from home for your song have they been playing it on the radio or I think the the, res the response in Austria was uh, very, very good. Um, the song is loved mostly. You know, I, I don't know any, 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 I didn't pick up any hate about it. You know? Well, that's people good news. <laughs> yeah. You know, in Austria is always, it's always the thing people, people are very like, mistrusting. They don't know if there's quality coming from our country. So they were always like uh, skeptical, but once it came out, they were like, okay, it's not crap, thanks. That's, that's all. It, it, it certainly is not. <laughs> <laughs> um, after Eurovision, says, uh, what, uh, what's on the agenda? Have you got uh, more music coming out? Or tell yes. us about it. We have a uh, release plan, and we have um, a five song release plan. And so an EP, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes. If it was a physical one. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be a physical one, you know, times change, albums are uh, a luxury reserved for major artists. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Although, funnily enough, I was in a record shop uh, at home the other day where they've got a whole wall full of vinyl. Oh. Um, things are going round in circles. Yes, yeah, so, so. yeah, it's a collectible. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. Yes, I think yes. there's a Eurovision um, collection on vinyl was released oh, wow, last year as really? well. So, what do you mean you haven't got it yet? What do you mean? <laughs> well, there we go. I'm not that much of an Eurovision <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> I but it's a collector's item, I expect. So. Yeah. It was asked the organisers if they're giving the artists a free copy. You know. I, I, I'm reluctant to ask, but it would be really cool. 
<laughs> well, we very much wish you the very best of luck with the rest of the rehearsals, and of course, we hope that we are going to see you in the grand final of the Eurovision Song Contest 2018. Says our Samson. Thanks very much. Thank you.